our trip eyes now are my good friend Jaime Diaz yes. here. Unfortunate news, Jaime. Um, Kobe Bryant, we found out yesterday, was in a helicopter crash, tragically, uh, with his daughter, 13-year-old daughter. Um, just one of those rare tragedies that happened to a superstar, and he was. And the reason why we're here talking about it is um, Tiger was told about it when he walked off the 18. Joe LaCava told him, and he you could tell by the look in his face yeah. that yeah, he was shocked. They weren't close friends. I mean, they hung out some. Mm -hmm. But we're here, at, of course, the tragedy is there, but when you lose a, a, a truly great athlete, you compare him to other athletes in, yeah. in our sport. Mm -hmm. And our sport, of course, is golf. Tiger Woods is our one of the best ever, yeah. you know, which Kobe obviously was in basketball. Mm -hmm. Touched so many different people with the game of basketball. But in difference, um, you know, in different ways, both of them have changed a little bit of their games. Uh, you know, for the better mm -hmm. on sure. each side. Yeah, so, sure. so Kobe and and, and Tiger. What, how would you say their their uh, styles are similar as as truly yeah. great athletes? Yeah, you know, I think Tiger felt an affinity for to Kobe, even though they weren't really particularly close. He's a huge Laker fan. They had right. worked out together, but I've often felt just and you know, you've been studying Tiger forever too, uh, that the athlete from another sport that was the most similar to Tiger in approach and that Tiger had the most parallels with in terms of personality and the style of play and all those intangibles that made him great was Kobe. Wow. Uh, I, I know Michael's, excuse me, uh, Tiger's compared to Michael a lot and yeah. I think he used Michael as a standard as far as being the greatest ever and not that they're not similar because I think there's, there's a lot of similarities between Kobe and, Ty and Jordan. Well that's the, that was where I was going to say. He, 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 yeah, yeah, I mean he was modeling himself after Jordan as right. well. But I don't think, uh, I think the basic thing might have been, first of all, upbringing. They both were really young, kind of little prodigies. Right, and and yeah. uh, Kobe was in Italy kind of playing basketball uh, by himself in a way because uh, it wasn't part of the culture, but his dad was over there playing the pro league. And then when he came over here, he was kind of the oddball who had been from Italy. And so he was always kind of working on his game alone. He really became a technician. Which and, Tiger Woods. You I know, mean, solitary yeah. beginning in golf allows that more than basketball. Right. But I, I think there were some similarities there. Um, but more than anything, I think um, Tiger and Kobe have just this tremendous uh, curiosity about the sport in every aspect. And they want to be good at every part of it. That, you know, yeah. and, and Kobe was really a tremendous defensive player. He had a weakness. He would grind that into dirt until it wasn't a weakness anymore, and I think Tiger does that as well. He'd con continually progress. We could talk more, but, I mean, definitely throughout his career, a lot of parallels. They both went through a really difficult, you know, personal right. crisis, yes, yes. and they recovered from it. I think they both came back from injury late in their career and had a very nice – Kobe's is over, of course. I mean, you know, he retired a few years ago, but his last few years were not an embarrassment. No. He, he, de he scored 60 points in his last game, which is yeah. quite incredible. But Tiger's having this, you know, sort of, you know, uh, well, whatever you want to call it, uh, a sort of a, uh, a late summer – you know, an Indian summer uh, uh, revival here. Yeah, we might say fall. Yeah, it's fall. Tiger, That's e yeah, yeah, it's I mean, easier. It's yeah. So, yeah, fall. It yeah, is a fall. Fall revival. And, right. and you know, you don't really necessarily see an end to it. But I just feel like the killer instinct, the ability to close. Yes. T you know, Toby was so good at the end of games, and Tiger's the best at the end at, of games. At the end mm -hmm. of the games was where I was going to go. The other, the mm -hmm. other thing I was going to, in my my memory of Kobe, look, I'm not the biggest uh, basketball mm -hmm. fan, but I, of course I've watched Kobe, and when you watch greatness, you know it. Yes. But I, it, this was a, one of those things that was one of those videos, and I don't even know who did it, but I, a, a guy took the ball and he and he did it right. At Kobe oh yeah, he didn't get a blink. reaction, yeah. and Kobe just didn't even in the middle of the game. Yeah, he showed nothing. Yeah, yeah. And I, that's the way I see Tiger because that's the Tiger I knew when I competed against mm -hmm. him. Yeah, was just the stoicism. Just yes. hey, you know what? I'm going to leave no stone unturned, and I'm going to do everything I can to beat you. And you're not going to show. I'm not going to show you any weakness. He, he's so great at showing nothing. Like exactly. he's talking about now. You know, I have to manage my adrenaline. And we've seen over the years, first tee. He's yeah. not always the best, but you never know it from his face. No. He gives away nothing. No. Uh, the other little thing, and I think Tiger was kind of an undersized kid, and Kobe, for a basketball player, was sort of slight. Yes. They both worked on their bodies a lot. But I think also because they didn't really have the overwhelming physical gifts, they learned every nuance early. And Tiger was tremendous short game player as a kid and great putter. And Kobe developed his shot and his 
and his handle, and he wasn't dunking on everybody. He was learning all these little moves, and nobody had more moves around the basket because he really didn't elevate like Jordan did. He doesn't have the same gifts as, as LeBron, but he had more moves and little tricky things and left-handed things, and I think that's what Tiger loves too, the yeah. art of the game, and I think both of them were true artists. Yeah, they were, mm -hmm. and, and you know, it's, it's sad when you lose an athlete, but it does make you remember all the great times that we we had watching them and what they've done for for their different sports and both of them have now we fortunately get to continue to watch Tiger yes as you said but it, he'll it, remember he'll remind us of Kobe and I, and I think t the reason we felt Kobe's I mean you know when Payne Stewart died the way he did yeah. it, it the impact of a, a plane crash or an air you know an aeronautics accident just seems to have a more of an impact emotionally but I also think that Kobe uh, represented an idea an idea of leaving nothing, you know, you just squeeze everything out of it in your right. life, you know? Yep. And I think we all admired that. You know, it made him a tough guy, maybe a, a loner, and, and Tiger is too. Yeah. But that's the price that they pay to be really great. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and those are the things that we're definitely going to remember. Mm -hmm. Thanks for stopping by, and be sure, yeah. if you like what you see, to subscribe to our YouTube channel.